Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about something that I think I've been struggling with more and more over the past few years, which is that people seem to assume that I am somehow universally liberal. This really bothers me, because I'm not. I don't really identify as a liberal. I hold a lot of liberal viewpoints, but I think of myself as someone who is pretty clearly outside of the whole, like, liberal-conservative divide. I really dislike all-or-nothing thinking. It's something that I think is pretty damaging, leads to pretty bad results, pretty untruthful beliefs if you think in this sort of all-or-nothing framework. And I think the whole, like, liberal-conservative divide is one of the areas where people fall into this sort of all-or-nothing thinking. And I see this unfortunate tendency, I see this both with people I know in person and on the internet, of people to make assumptions about me just because I voice a number of liberal viewpoints, or even sometimes just one viewpoint, or even sometimes people make assumptions because of my identity. So for example, I identify as non-binary, and that is sort of stereotyped in our society as this, like, super left-wing thing, like, oh, look at all those, like, little, like, non-binary people on Tumblr, those social justice warriors, like, it's this terrible stereotype. And sometimes just, like, saying I'm non-binary, like, people assume that that means I hold certain political views, they assume that it means I have a certain way of talking, and, and all sorts of values that come along with that. And a lot of those assumptions are not true, and it sort of bothers me, because like one of the things to me when I think about being non-binary, it's that people also bring a lot of assumptions to the table on the basis of gender. Like if someone is gendered male or gendered female, there are all these assumptions that come along with that, and I don't like that. So like, when I see people perceive non-binary that way, and then assume, oh, that means you're uniformly liberal, that bothers me a lot. I want to talk about some of the ways in which I'm not liberal. I think if you watch my videos, it's clear to me a lot of the ways that I am liberal. Like, I'm really all on board with, like, LGBTQ rights, and I think that the opposition to them is pretty ridiculous most of the time. But, like, there are a lot of areas where I think I hold more conservative views pretty strongly. One of them is that I believe in str uh, small government and fiscal responsibility. And when I say small government, this involves a lot of different things. It means that when people pass laws, I want those laws to be simple and transparent. So for example, the Affordable Care Act, dubbed Obamacare by some people, I really didn't like it when it passed, and I remain really skeptical about it. I'm not sure I would want to repeal it, but I just have a really icky feeling about it, because it is this massive, incredibly complex piece of legislation. And I've been really frustrated by Democrats and liberals in that Republicans have been continually criticizing the package on the grounds of how complex it is, and I don't feel like liberals or Democrats have been adequately responding to or addressing those concerns. Sometimes they've been responding with blame. Well, it's only so complex because you wouldn't let us have single-payer health care, which is what we really want. Like, there's some truth in that, but like, I don't feel like they're really hearing out and acknowledging that. Like, what I want to hear people saying is, hey, yeah, I agree with you. You have a point. This bothers me too. And I'm not hearing that from Democrats or liberals. That's one way that I don't feel like I'm on the same page with liberals. Um, another um, politically, and this is something where people make assumptions, I think people often think about race, race issues in this all-or-nothing way. If you've watched my video on affirmative action, you'll know that I'm not really fully on board with affirmative action. Um, but I also think that the people who oppose it often don't fully acknowledge the scope and scale of institutional racism in the United States. I think sometimes when someone hears my views on race, and they hear me start talking about institutional racism, and how it's a problem, and how there's a lot of stuff I like about the Black Lives Matter movement, and how I think it's addressing really important stuff, they're like, oh, so you're liberal on the issue of race, or you're a liberal. And that's not true. Like, I don't 
really like affirmative action. I tend to like side with the conservatives on not liking to have laws and like quotas and things that classify people on the basis of race and then act accordingly or treat them differently. I would rather approach racial problems in the U.S. in different ways. Like, I want to start thinking about school funding, I want to start thinking about progressive taxation, things like that. How are other ways in which I'm not liberal? Um, another one is how I like to talk. I care a lot about respectful dialogue. And I think that there's this sort of notion of political correctness. And I know some people can throw around that term as a way of disparaging progressive people in general. And that's not what I'm trying to say here, but I, I do think that there is a real problem with the idea of political correctness. And I saw it, I saw it first at Oberlin College. Oberlin is super far left. You have like three different socialist student organizations like fighting with each other, yelling at each other because they're the like wrong kind of socialist. Like that was the kind of extreme environment it was. And I found that like I actually got yelled at a number of times in that environment for all sorts of different things. And like people can get extremely nasty and hostile if you don't use exactly the right language. And this really bothers me. And I actually made another video about this that I would recommend watching if you hadn't. Uh, it's talking about how bashing privileged groups often ends up harming oppressed groups the most. Uh, directly related to this. This is something that I see go on in left-wing circles that I really abhor. This idea that it is okay to bash a group because that group is privileged. So it's like, not okay to say, I hate women, women are awful, but it is okay to say, I hate men, men are awful, because men are privileged. Like, I don't agree with that. I don't believe that, and I think that that belief, I'm not saying all liberals hold it, but I think that that belief is really only found in liberal circles. It's, it's this sort of part of certain left-wing ideologies, and I find it really abhorrent. I find it abhorrent whether it's talking about gender, whether it's talking about race, whether it's talking about like your trans status, being cis or trans, whether you're talking about like socioeconomic status, like I just don't think it's okay to sort of bash people or hate people regardless of their identity. And I could make a whole video talking about why, I think there's a long list of reasons why. Um, I think in general, like, liberal ideology tends to focus more on identity than I'm comfortable with sometimes. There are a lot of problems with this. So like, that's, this is another way in which I'm, I'm not really liberal. I'm not going to say I'm conservative, but there's certain ways in which I think conservative people and conservative ideologies have legitimate critiques of liberal culture. And I don't think that when someone says political correctness, they're always just using, like, making an irrational, disparaging remark about liberals. I think that there can be a valid critique in there. So, basically, I hope that I've clarified to you that I am not uniformly liberal. I still hold a lot of traditionally liberal views on a lot of things, but um, I think my views are complex. I really want you to see me as complex, and I would encourage you to see other people as complex too. Like, don't assume that just because someone has an identity that you associate with, like, being liberal, that, or uses language that you associate with being liberal, don't assume that that person is liberal uniformly. And similarly, if, if there's something that they says that sounds like conservative, don't assume that they're uniformly conservative. People are complex, and I think that our society would be greatly enriched if we started like really seeing the diversity that can exist within a single person in their viewpoints. Uh, yeah, I hope you've gotten something out of this. Uh, yeah, thank you.